greetings from the wait, wait. Wait, So we made it to Salem, Massachusetts, and it's like prime spooky season. It's uh, very close to Halloween, uh, so we're just walking around and getting creeped out, and this is like the perfect town to be at this time of year. And I'm obsessed with witchy stuff. I watched like Charmed growing up and all the Hocus Pocuses, so I just caught up on those. I really want to get a psychic reading, but I'm not sure if I will. And we're thinking about doing a ghost tour. spots on I Overlander but we found this spot and it's basically just like a parking lot in the heart of the city so we're gonna go we're gonna like brush our teeth get the van all ready and then we're just gonna pop over here to sleep This is Rosa getting her two minutes of teeth brushing in. <laughs> so we are just waiting for a little bit more time to pass before we move spots for the night. We are getting all of our maintenance things done. So we can just pull up, put the blinds up, and chill in the back. I've got my whole little um, bathroom set up here. Toothpaste, toothbrush, brush, a little makeup. And uh, ghost tours keep walking by us. <laughs> Spooky. Okay, turn the light off. We gotta go. When he was a little boy, he was sent to a religious reform school, and he thought he'd grow up and be a minister. That he was disillusioned. The ministers at school beat him. They were mean and corrupt. And the This is where we packed last night. Uh, no issues. We didn't have uh, any problems. It, the parking lot was a lot more empty uh, last night when we came to bed and it was raining. But yeah, no, uh, we slept really, really nice. Woke up, and now we're gonna go walk around Salem and check it out. like move them around so they make sense yeah yeah for sure. we had a great sleep last night in the parking lot it was raining a lot outside and I could hear the rain a little bit but we were toasty and warm in the van it was actually so warm that Tyson had the fan on um, and then this morning we had to use the washroom and there was no public washrooms around so we went to a really cute cafe that was pet friendly and Tyson had some avocado toast and uh, we both had some coffee. 
Now I'm super excited to do this Hocus Pocus tour because I'm a huge fan. Ever since I was a kid, it was my absolute favorite Halloween movie. Me too. Ever since we watched it together and I like watched it on and off while I played on my phone uh, last week to get like prepared for this trip, I've been a huge fan. So this is going to be really nice. And for me, I have been watching it every year since I was a kid. Okay, wait, what's this one? Allison's house. Allison's house, wow. Huh? I just watched this movie like last week. Mm. And I remember the scene where he knocks on the door and then they're having a little party inside. And um, she, Allison offers them hot apple cider. <laughs> cool. So is Allison a witch? No, Allison was just a, a school chum. Oh, that okay. ended up being a romantic. So what do you think her dad did to afford this house? Do you uh, think he's like a professional pencil sharpener? I don't think they said that in the movie. I don't think they said what her father's profession was. <laughs> but in the movie, it looked a lot less rickety and more like fancy. So, um, Addison's house. Allison! Allison's house just so happens to be this like garden too. It's part of the Peabody Essex Museum. So that cool little backyard we could walk around. So it was cool to get the whole, all the angles, you know? Okay, this is pretty and all, but let's get on with our tour. Oh my gosh. So this is Town Hall and we were actually here last night and I didn't even clue in that this is what it was. What do you think? Um, I can't believe that I was here last night and I didn't even realize that this was Town Hall from the movie. I'm such a bad fan. That's okay. I think you're a great fan. Well, we spent a lot of time here last night, so let's go on to the next spot, which I'm not sure which it is. We're just showing up at them and then I'm guessing. A little bit of a game we like to call, How Hocus Is Your Pocus? And I'm doing pretty good, except for last night. I totally failed that one. Yeah. What do we have here? Well, I think the other side maybe, because this doesn't look familiar. Okay. This place reeks of children. Mmm. Is that some kind of quote? Yeah, from the movie. <laughs> the high school. Mmm. She didn't even need to phone a friend. I'd like to say that her hocus is pretty pocus. <laughs> okay, we have two more stops, but randomly on our route on Google Maps, there was a new location added. So Rosa thinks that someone from the other side is trying to call to us to tell us to go to this coffee shop. So we're gonna go check it out. Tyson thinks I am so superstitious and none of this stuff is real, but okay, we mapped everything out and then suddenly this coffee shop just got added to our map route and I swear to God I didn't do it and he swears to God he didn't do it. So I say let's go get a coffee there and see what happens. <laughs> okay, so the cafe is called Wolf Next Door Cafe. Now, fun fact, when I was a kid, there was a dog that lived in the house behind us and his name was Ripper and he kind of looked like a wolf. Also, I watched a reel this morning, and it had Wolfgang Puck, who's a chef, in it. So, you tell me. Also, also I'm kind of afraid to go there, because For that it reason. might be haunted, but I'm, feel, I, I'm adventurous. And I also hope that I um, can sleep tonight, and I'm not up all night afraid. So, yeah, you tell me. When I was a kid, I had a Wolf Next Door. This place is called Wolf Next Door Cafe. Cafe, restaurant, Wolfgang Puck. Hello. Okay. Uh, also, Rosa loves cafe. This ghost knows. Also, from our last spot, it was six minutes away. Six minutes is exactly how much time I need to get ready for work. <laughs> and the number six. Hello. Right, babe? Yeah. Ooh, maybe it could be a demon. Have a squirt. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy would love squirt. <laughs> Got a coffee. Nothing weird happened. 
I hope no ghosts attach themselves to me. Maybe I was just supposed to have this coffee and get like hyper, I don't know. Okay, the weirdest thing happened. So we get there, right? I go inside, I check it out. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna order a coffee. Wait a minute, where's your restroom? They don't have restrooms. How do they know? How do they know that I had to go to the, use a restroom? Okay, because like, I often have to go to the use the restroom. They knew something, something. Maybe it's had... maybe it's Satan playing tricks on me. Did you ask them if they had a restroom? I did. Yeah, it's, they got they got to use a porta potty down the street. Satan knows I don't like using porta potties down the street. Do you think this coffee's haunted? No, the coffee's fine. Do you think if I drink it, something bad's gonna happen? Nope. Uh, yeah. No, thank you. I'd rather pee in my jug. I know I'm weird, but I would. You know why you can't fly drones here? You know why? Because because the witches well, they fly around on their broomsticks and they don't want to. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. We're here. It's so this is someone's actual house. So we're just like gonna hover left. super quick and this like look at it. Yeah, this is it. There we go. <laughs> Just take one picture for me. <laughs> wow. So whose house is that? Oh, so um, that is Danny and oh my goodness, what is his name? Charles. This, Danny and, gosh. Danny and Josh, you heard it here first. That's Danny and Josh's house. It, it's, it's the boy, the, the star, and then his sister Danny. But I always liked Danny better, so. Yeah, I like Josh more. She was so cute. I like Josh more. Let's roll, babe. Cool. When I was doing my research online, I thought this was actually in a different city. Um, maybe in Hocus Pocus 2, it's in a different city. I don't know. But this is very cool. I'm, like, really excited to be here. This is probably the most exciting one to be at. And I hope it's that close. we can get in. But, like, maybe we can creep in around there. Your destination. <laughs> this is where Zachary and his um, sister Emily were living in the very beginning of the movie, and then they got called. Um, Emily got called by the witches, and um, spoiler alert, they killed her. Oh, <gasps> did they eat her? Wow! Oh my gosh, it's a little village. So, so then, um, Zachary, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, the witches killed him, or turned him into a cat and cursed him to be alive forever, and he was protecting the black candle so that it didn't get lit again by a virgin. That's and spoiler, cat? spoiler alert, it did get lit again. And spoiler alert, I thought the cat's name was Salem. <laughs> Wrong show, babe. So, Max was his name. And this is where he got his shoes stolen in the beginning of the movie. And then a bunch of scenes were set here, um, like at the middle of the movie, where they put Danny in and like put salt around it. But I don't think that was actually filmed here. I think that was filmed in the studio. And my hypothesis is the only part that was filmed here was the beginning scene with the shoes, but I don't know. So leave it in the comments if you actually know the answer to that question, because I cannot find it online. Me either. All right, so we're all done doing our movie location tours, our Hocus Pocus tours, all that. Uh, we found a nice spot on the beach, and I'm gonna cook up some lunch. Check out our view. The ocean, what are you snacking on there, Chumper? Nothing, I'm coloring. Oh, you're coloring. Hey, good thing you're not snacking because I'm going to whip up some food. <laughs> We've got our kitchen ready. Got to set up the stove. Well, we got our pantry to reach in underneath there that just so happens to be nicely situated underneath. Got our fridge powered up and ready to go. Not much in there, but some goodies. And 
doing some more pantry stuff. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, thank you. Ah. <laughs> you startled me. <laughs> She's so relaxed. She's, She's just like, doing what? her mandalas. She's just chilling and I'm just like, boom, green tea. She just jumped out from under the bucket. What's going on? <laughs> so we got this cauliflower gnocchi from Trader Joe's. Um, it looks really good, but the way that I cooked it, it turned out kind of gummy. Um, these these pans that we have are really old and we keep meaning to replace them, but we keep forgetting. And I wanted to just bring my cast iron pot, but we didn't have enough room in here. And this is kind of like a trial run at the minivan life. So we learned a lesson today, but uh, yeah, as you can see, it's really bad for you, but the, the Teflon material, the nonstick material is like chipping off, which is, yeah, very, very bad for you. This pot needs to go in the garbage, but we're living dangerously. Got some spooky plates that we got from our takeout we ordered yesterday, uh, but we ate right out of the box, so we're getting these, putting these to use. Trick or treat. Enjoy. So we have a cauliflower gnocchi that's made with cauliflower, cassava flour, and potato starch. Um, so it's gluten free, which is nice. And then there's carrots, kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli. What else is in there? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> just but it's a, really good. Just a bunch of greens. Oil, Cabbage. salt, and pepper. And what do we think? Um, I actually really like it. I I'm loving these vegetables. Like the kale or something crisped up. Oh, I wonder, is there like Brussels sprout in here? Yep. Yeah, which normally I don't love Brussels sprout, but this, like together, it tastes really good. Brussels sprouts with a view. All right, so uh, that concludes our exploration of Salem and our fun little spooky touring around that we were doing. We are just going to sit here by the ocean for a bit and have a little Boston tea patty. Um, Don't forget to subscribe. Check out our next video where we head to Boston and um, see what it's like living in a minivan in a big major city. Unless we get haunted. Why'd you say that? Now I'm going to be afraid to sleep tonight. Goodbye!